Sandy here and I am back with my cheeky studio kit for the month of September and it is kind of just like smushed on my desk so here's some of it I'm just whoop, writing it over to the side now as you guys know if you've watched my channel for any length of time I am definitely a memorabilia scrapper and I am actually going to be scrapbooking this um, juror thing where I had gone to serve for jury duty and um, was not needed and I don't have to go back until 2020 so that's pretty exciting and I'm going to go ahead and scrap this with my cheeky studio kit so let's see what I can do all right so the first thing I do is cut that beautiful paper right on up I am only using part of it I'm using this background paper I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down and at first I'm thinking I'm going to be using this kind of as a shelf so that pre-printed look where it's painted on with the wildflowers at the end I was thinking it was going to be a shelf and I would have some sort of decorative paper thing going on up at the top however that is not what ended up now this is another sheet of paper here and I'm going to go ahead and eventually after I figure out what in the world I'm doing I was trying to think about doing like a sequin shaker pocket behind the photo as a photo mat I decided that that was probably going to be too much with this layout but I definitely want to make a shaker photo mat on a layout soon just got to figure out what layout and what I'm going to do it for okay so my little um, paper here saying that I have served jury duty and don't need to do it again until 2020 is all nicely matted and I'm pulling out some stickers and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do and I see happy day and I'm like yep it is a happy day when you're told you don't have to go serve on jury duty for a couple more years so that sucker is going to go down right here on this layout I'm thinking about using again those painted lines as a shelf however like I said this does not end up that way go ahead and take that off and I'm thinking oh maybe I'll put happy up here and day down here and it just wasn't like I wasn't feeling it it just wasn't working out the way I was picturing it in my mind so I decided to go a completely different direction now I'm just trying to go through and see what I'm doing with these wildflowers and like do I need to add some more up here like what in the world am I doing and this is where I decide this is not going to work so I'm thinking okay maybe if I just add some paper up here first and then I can figure out what is going on down here at the bottom I was thinking about trying to make these uh, rings work somehow up there but it does not so I just go ahead and use the other side of the paper get that yellow color there and I'm just going to make sure that I'm using that edge right there where it has the pre printed splatters on it really cute so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down and there we go so I've got that down there and then I discover oh maybe I want to do it this way so I just turn the layout a quarter a turn and now I have the flowers kind of coming up out of the bottom of the page instead of going across the page and I like this so so much better I'm going to use that really busy wildflower paper right there I'm totally cool with that love this paper like seriously really love it so I go ahead and place this strip here and I'm going to go from the edge of the page where did I go oh I shortened it a little bit because I was covering up all the splatter I made so sure to make sure that you could see that splatter I figured you know what you might as well leave some of it out so you can see it so I pull out some of my uh, pocket page cards and I'm just flipping through and I find this little lined one in this light pink color and I think this is going to be great and as you can see it is dated from February 2015 because you know I do that project life so well <laughs> um, now I'm just going to go ahead and figure out what I'm doing so I'm going to go ahead and layer up happy day right here 
and I know that I'm journaling on this card, but I'm totally cool with putting the title right on top of it as well. I don't really have a full 3x4 cards worth to say about jury duty other than, guess what, I didn't have to serve, and I don't have to serve again until 2020, so besides that I don't really have any cool fun stories about going to the courthouse to serve, so you know. I'm going to go ahead and, boy I've been saying go ahead a lot lately. I'm going to take that floral bit and I was going to try to layer it up on one of those cut aparts. I decide not to go that route, but I do use the sticker and layer it up here on top of the wildflower ephemera. And I really like that. I think it looks really cute. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it needs something else. Like that is a big <coughs> expanse of yellow. And it just needs something to break it up. So this uh, die cut came in the kit and it's white, but I need it to be not white. I need it to be a little bit more exciting. So I pull out my uh, pink inks and I just test that close to my heart ink over on a scrap sheet of paper and it is like a neon, neon pink. So totally not the color I was going for, not the look I wanted. I went ahead and grabbed, what is this? This is some Brutus Monroe ink. This is surface inks. So I grab a bit of packaging from my little trash can and as you can see I exploded the trash can all over the place so I had to put that back and whoa super quick there it is I inked up these three little white die cut pieces one is this zigzag border that circle over there and then this kind of like label thingy and I go ahead and place that down right over top of the jury paperwork now, like I said, I am a memorabilia scrapper, so I don't have a photo, and I'm totally cool with that. Not every moment of our lives is recorded through photography, so if you've got something that reminds you of a moment, reminds you of a story, reminds you of a certain time, I say scrapbook it. Like, do, do whatever makes you happy, do whatever helps you remember those times. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on over here and I'm not really loving that but eh, I'm, I'm going with it. I'm moving, I'm moving on and moving to another area of the page because I don't know what I'm doing over there in that section by the jury duty summon. So I layer up those two little wildflower ephemeras and kind of curve them around the Y in happy day. I'm just trying to pick out wildflowers that you know are fun I was thinking about putting that one that had happy again just to really like drive home how happy I was but I decided against it so I changed out the flower up there I used a flower that very similar to the ones over there by the Y in happy and I like this a whole lot better And then I think, you know what? I need to embellish these little wildflowers just a tiny little bit. Trying out, seeing anything, if I need anything over there as well. But I don't think I do. I really like that little cluster with the banner. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some stickers. There I go, saying go ahead again. Doing these little stickers that came in the kit with these little hearts. And they are tiny little hearts, these little guys right here. I mean, look how they just fit inside of the petals of the flowers. Super tiny. Now, here I'm just trying to figure out, do I want to add anything else? And then I think, you know what, this cluster could, could use a little bit of extra stuff going on right there. So I put in a leaf and one of those taller flowers right there. Gonna go ahead and add these little asterisk stickers just because I think they're fun and the color is cute. I decided not to put that second one right there because it was really joining the title area and that cluster and I definitely wanted you to know that they were two distinct areas and that they all weren't one big thing that was connected. 
So I'm trying to nestle that little heart right in there between the flower and the circle. And if I move my hand, you'll be able to see it. There it is. I'm gonna go through these little word stickers and I find a phrase and I just place that right over top of the heart. And now I feel like that cluster is pretty much complete. Not gonna get a whole lot more in that cluster. I guess I could put some enamel dots or sequins or splatter over there, but I decide, eh, I don't need it. So I dropped in my journaling about being happy and that'll do it for this layout, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you use my code SANDY10 when you're placing your order at Cheeky Studio and I will catch you guys soon.